the impact of famous actors, so-called stars, on the economic success of movies. Consumers typically purchase creative products such as movies, musical recordings or books based on hedonic benefits related to experiential enjoyment, symbolic meaning and sensory experience. As a result, choosing among these products usually implies substantial consumption risks. To assess the uncertain quality of such creative products like movies prior to consumption, consumers rely on information related to products' human brands. Such human brands are, for example, the star actors involved in making the movie, as they offer an important risk-reducing signal. As a result of their signaling function, as well as movies industry's economic riskiness, star actors or actresses are able to request multi-million dollar salaries just for one movie. These upfront expenditures require future revenues to recover them. That makes stars being default independent signals of product quality. Moreover, it raises the question of whether investments in stars pay off, a question that has triggered enormous attention of both managers and scholars. Consumers' associations with a star or actress are either formed by the star's commercial success or their artistic recognition. Commercial and artistic dimensions of human brands are different signals. They may even correlate negatively. Existing empirical studies do not provide a clear-cut picture of stars' impact on movie success. While some studies have found the expected significantly positive effect, other studies have not revealed any significant effects and even a few studies have found a significantly negative effect. Against this background, in our work, we provide empirical generalizations with respect to commercial and artistic star power measures. We base our four empirical generalizations on a combination of two methods, namely a meta-analytical approach and analyzing a comprehensive data set from the motion picture industry with roughly 1,500 movies, movies released in U.S. theaters. As we find strong selection effects for both commercial and artistic measures of star power, studies should focus on controlling selection effects of stars quite rigorously in order to avoid substantial biases. Thus, we formulate our first empirical generalization. The impact of commercial and artistic star power on box office revenues is strongly biased upwards if selection effects of stars are ignored. The results of our meta-analysis as well as our second empirical study reveal that artistic star power is associated with lower box office power revenues than star power measures related to a star's commercial success. Our empirical results support Adler's explanation of the superstar phenomenon that is related to accumulated consumption capital of the audience towards the star. If artistic performance is defined as the star's most important talent, then Rosen's key argument that primarily the talent of the star drives star power is not supported by our results. Overall, our second empirical generalization, artistic measures of star power are associated with significantly lower box office revenues than star power measures based, measures based on commercial success. Managers in the motion picture industry should be aware that the value of stars is potentially overstated and should consider this issue in their budget allocation decisions. Particularly, a relatively low mean correlation of 0.10 between star power and movie success raises concerns about the commonly held opinion that relying heavily on stars guarantees success. We illustrate that the impact of stars on movie success is only substantial when the movie includes commercially successfully stars. Thus, our third empirical generalization, on average, movies with a commercially successful star compared to movies without a commercially successful star generate roughly 13 million US dollars additional box office revenues, whereas movies with an artistically successful star um, generate a statistically only insignificant revenue premium of roughly 4 million US dollars. Our, finally, our fourth empirical generalization, commercially successful stars have a statistically significant multiplier effect of 13% on other characteristics driving a movie's box office, while artistically successful stars only have a smaller multiplier effect of about 9%.